Maruni Mangui Patuki e Manga Moyo sub county ah. I come from Toloro village. Uh, initially I used to to dig a lot of you know to to do a lot of garden work and then also I used to plant a lot of vegetables where I raised money. And uh, I began rearing chicken, this local type. And then when he learned of agro skills for you, I also come, I came up and, uh, and uh, I got training from the group and that's where I am. Initially, from the start, I went to a friend who helped me transport the birds from Kampala, though I paid the money myself, and also helped me brood because I don't know the stages of brooding. I mean, that friend helped him to brood, and then thereafter gave him 70 birds. Then out of 70, he lost two, and even uh, on the ground right now he has eight because he sold some, of which he made profit out of it. He struggled and uh, put a poultry unit, and then thereafter when the birds were brought, though he had uh, injected in little money, but in return he's at profit right now as he talks. He said from the profits he made, though locally, he wanted uh, at least to excel more, meaning he's going to buy more bikes. Maybe next year, if all goes well, he's dreaming of at least there over a thousand bikes. He wants to have all the types of the birds. More so if he can handle, he wanted layers to lay eggs for him that he can also sell. He wants to have croilers and local cross and also broilers because some of the local cross he can also release them out. They just live free range, which is easy to, to manage. So in the long run, you will really have all the type of the birds. He's saying there are challenges he got actually getting the, let me say, the feeds. Because I think initially he was operating on the commercial feeds, but later on he also began mixing. But now the problem is getting the brand is not easy. And also the fish itself because it is expensive in the market. And then also the sunflower seed cake because it is what they use for mixing feeds for croilers and local cross. So he realized that it is a little bit hard to move from here up to Gulu to transport those, those things. I think he has talked of uh, ordering some more birds and uh, since those birds come because already he was taught how to do some uh, feed formulation and uh, the, the skills of agro, agro skills for you. So he wants now to begin mixing his own feeds so that they will be available any minute and to make also the birds grow quicker. He says the best he can tell, they should learn to work very hard. As starters, they should start with the local birds because in most cases when you begin from the local birds, he leaves them free range and their feeding them is not all that expensive. But when you're starting, you have to go by that because if you are starting with things like the broilers, fine, they they pack a lot and they grow quickly and, and also, you know, it brings in fast returns. But if you don't have the money to start with that, you cannot manage. So he's advising the local there at, at least to start with local crops where you can live free range and they grow though longer but of course they feed less. And then you sell, you make the profit. I'm